everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Justin. We are Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. And we're expats from America, California. And we're now living full time in beautiful Scalia, Italy. Today's a little chilly. I wish we, <laughs> wish we could have did an episode yesterday. It was actually warm and sunny and beautiful. I think it was like 58 or something, almost 60 yeah, it degrees was very Fahrenheit. Nice yesterday. Today's on, it's on the chilly not side. Not so nice. <laughs> it's overcast and cloudy. At least there's no rain. But uh, we are at. And now he's cursed it, so there will be. <laughs> well, you never know. Um, actually, we are at. Um, tell everybody the location. We are right now at. Da Pietro uh, Lido, um, and the reason why is we actually stopped to get cappuccino because we'll explain why we needed the energy <laughs> boost. Actually, um, Del Pietro is open uh, year round, which is awesome, so you can enjoy uh, the beautiful outdoor uh, seating here. Let me go ahead and swing around. So it's got an ocean view, it is so packed here in the summer and um, beautiful location. Um, it's quite different looking for the winter. They take all the umbrellas and everything away, but it's still a beautiful place. You could sit inside if you'd like or outside on the patio. And it's really nice um, to get to see the ocean in the it winter. It's beautiful nice. too. Um, so we're enjoying- I actually really like the ocean when it's like yes, this and the waves pretty. are crashing. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, we actually have had a very busy day. The renovations are just going uh, just swimmingly and, and speeding along. Uh, we had a very early day. Uh, we had to let the workers in at seven this morning and we have been on the run since because we were sent out on errand shopping and it was fun. Uh, we're gonna insert um, photos. Um, we have a surprise. Because we actually wanted to film while we yes. were in the store and we just plum forgot yes, because well, we're just that tired. Actually, we went to Fratelli Melli and the salesperson was helping us uh, with what tiles are available. And it was very uh, frantic and uh, kind of a crazy situation. So it wasn't conducive to uh, filming the episode because uh, they were trying to get everything under the gun. Because believe it or not, when you're after tiles that are in stock without having to do a special order, uh, they go pretty quick. Um, people, you know, have the same ideas and looking for tiles. So it's actually really funny on um, Friday. So today's Monday, mm -hmm. and I believe it was Friday. I think we were in Saturday Friday, morning. Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, we went, and there were all these tiles available, and we're like, okay, we'll get that tile, that tile, that tile, and he's like, okay, come back Monday, and we'll take care of it. Well, we went back on Monday and one of those tiles was plum Someone gone. Someone bought the whole lot. So we had to, you know, reconfigure and, and it redesign everything. It looks really nice, but you know, thank God we're Mor flexible like that. Because Moral of the story, <laughs> unless you want special order, of course, you know, that could take potentially weeks and, and uh, we wanted to get everything that was in stock, which it's a very large store. As I mentioned, it's like similar to a Home Depot size type situation. So it's pretty big. They do carry a lot in stock on certain panel boards or display boards are the in stock and they remove them instantly and mark them out. And then gone. you cry when you see the tile that you wanted is no longer it's on marked the display out, it's board. It's out. Like, ah! So moral of the story, don't hesitate. If you know what you want, grab it then and pay for it and they hold it uh, because someone can come around behind you and have the same idea and grab the whole lot of... <laughs> Even if they tell you to wait until Monday, yes. don't wait till Monday, well, buy for, it now. For yeah. instance, one of the tiles we were after, they said, oh, we have a 13 square meter worth and we uh, went in and somebody got them all. So it's, so it's like, oops. So, you know, so like mine's, I guess, I think the same. So when you when you want it, grab it. But, Leave the tiles for us. And we are talking about tile. You're probably wondering, what are you talking about? I don't know if we have properly shared. We are redoing the larger bathroom as we speak. Honey, I'm sure they're not <laughs> wondering what we're talking about when we're talking about tile. We are renovating a villa. There is all I know, but I don't about. know if we explain we're doing the large bathroom yet. I'll have to, you know, we've been all over the place with uh, this. So anyway, we are redoing the larger bathroom. There was a leak in uh, the bathtub had a slow leak. And uh, since when they had redone the kitchen, they redid the pipes because there was some rust, you know, obviously the, uh, with all the sea air and stuff that's Right, and I'm going to say, and I'm going to say right now, I'm sorry to interrupt, mm -hmm. um, but I will say um, when you, when we bought the villa, you know, oh. on surface value, everything looked okay. Well, cosmetics. But, <laughs> but the thing that you have to remember is um, our villa and, you know, if you're buying a house in Italy, always remember that if it is a vacation home, mm -hmm. there is going to be a lot of stuff under the surface yes. that's going to have to be taken care of because, for example, our house hasn't been um, properly in ventilated their heat's not been on during the cold and so it creates expansion and stuff and the pipes and so ah. well to make a long story short the previous <laughs> owners all before there was never heat ever in the home 
or air conditioning, we had put that in. So that will tell you the decades of uh, just people. For instance, we purchased from people that owned for quite some time and they lived in uh, Naples and would just vacation here in the summer. So as Michael was explaining, the rest of the year, they weren't here to do the maintenance. And, and, and even that's when they were here, I mean, what we can see is even when they were here, they probably didn't care that much about yeah. the house. It was just a place to get yeah, away. Exactly. For the few weeks in the summer or something. So they probably didn't, you know, like, oh, it wasn't a high priority to, you know, as if you live full time in a home. So you have to keep that in mind. But we knew we'd be pretty much the view was well worth it anyway. And then we knew we'd be It will someday be a dream home. Right yeah. now it's a nightmare home. <laughs> well, no. When we got it, we knew we'd be touching every surf surface and adding our touches. That was part of the fun of it. Um, anyway, we love how the kitchen came out for instance and everything else and um, I'll show through the paintings pretty much now done today officially in all of the bedrooms hallway etc uh, we do have to replace a ceiling fan in a room so we're going to go shopping uh, we've seen a fixture that we like um, a chandelier actually that for our bedroom that we'll be grabbing because I remember seeing it at a store um, so it's you know when you look around stores and keep something in mind keep it in the memory bank and when something comes up like electrician oh by the way this ceiling fan's no good then oh I know a lamp to replace it with right. is in the memory bank um, and that's with the bathroom we've been having fun we have an antique style vanity that we know we're getting with our friend Nancy um, and we've already got that on hold um, obviously a toilet it's very simple to get around anywhere um, thank god we're getting one of those could you imagine <laughs> a bathroom without a toilet yeah we are doing uh, it's very important too I guess to ever if you ever think resale value uh, for Italians obviously a bidet is a necessity the way you can get around that we don't want to install and use the space for a bidet so we are uh, like I guess a bidet hose on the wall it's separately plumbed and so technically for resale or if you have Italian visitors and they have to have a bidet uh, that's available for their use um, so you kind of take care of it that way and that's what we'll be doing um, next to the toilet uh, so vanity toilet and uh, bathtub will be all on uh, the bathtub will be under the window so we've ordered a bathtub that fits and that takes about a week to get here so that was already ordered in place today and all of our tile was paid for uh we had our um workers ah, i'm gonna go ahead and leave that in because life happens <laughs> i dropped the phone <laughs> um and it, unless i well unless we edit it so but I, I just leave it in i don't think we'll edit that oh natural it was kind of funny <laughs> of the little bloopers that we leave are fun but anyway it's life but um anyway as i was saying so we will be proceeding in the bathroom having it be a new uh layout we will have the vanity on the entrance to the left and we will have the toilet and then underneath the window we have a measurement of 160 meters to fit a bathtub um um, 10 meters smaller than the average size, I guess 170s. But so we have a um, ordered one for that. So it's gonna be lovely. And the whole right size has great accessibility for Michael's mobility issues, a free and clear entrance all the way in. And mom will appreciate that as well. So it won't be all cluttered like a maze, like the And you know, I will current, say, so um, I will say um, when we first got the villa, mm -hmm. um, before we realized that we had to redo the bathroom, we had said, oh, we'll keep the tile, we'll keep the tile. And you know what? It was, um, at first sight, it was a pretty tile. But the reality is that um, I, because I used that bathroom because it's larger. Um, and the fact is that once you're in there, once you're trying to relax, you realize just how dark and dreary mm -hmm. that tile was. Yeah, it was. It was like a bathroom that made you need Zoloft. Well, we're, we're not crying <laughs> over it. My mom were like, oh, the birds are cute. I think she was just kind of accepting, oh, we'll fix it later or whatever. It was fine. But now we... Yay! Get a fun, Yay. bright bathroom. So, and we are kind of doing, I guess, uh, yeah, we're doing like a blue and an aqua... Uh, well, we'll show you the photos. Uh, we're blue themed. I just, we just wanted something relaxing. Um, we have a beautiful aqua subway tile that luckily was in stock. Um, and then we have, um, similar to the kitchen, that Amalfi-esque uh, Positano look. Uh, we're doing a band of that. Uh, so to, to bring that in for a little pop and just enough so it's not overwhelming and we're very pleased with it. Now, we're just gonna have a nice clean and fresh timeless look so it looks classic um, and fits the, the look we're after. 
but fresh and updated. So right. that would be very nice. And, you know, all new plumbing and everything is wonderful because, you know, as I mentioned, if one leak already started that was there, more were to come. So might as well take care of that. We will be getting the smaller bathroom done later because we don't want to be having two out of commission at once. So we'll get that done in the near future. And that's small, so that should be a breeze. But anyway, we're pleased. Uh, the house is a complete shambles right now. The furniture's every which way, but properly set. Um, let them finish the work. We will get it all placed back in order and hopefully that'll go quick. And then once they're done with the bathroom, we'll have and a cleaning crew. Do we want to tell them a rough estimate as to how much it costs for all the... <sighs> I know we don't have it directly in front of us, but I will say this. Oh, wow. the, the, the bathtub, the tiles, the, the I mean, everything was under 800 euro. For today's order, we <laughs> thought, oh my, this is adding up. And this was, let's see, there were th um, the belt. It was a uh, three square meters of tile for the Malfi style uh, belt. We're um, gonna do a band. Band, and that was um, let's see, 15 square meters of the subway tile in Aqua. 16, 16. 16, one extra. We for need the, 15, but he's had to get In case extra. breakage and cuts. And then floor, uh, the floor was four square meters of a, a beautiful blue tile. So uh, that, you know, was that's a nice amount of tile. And with that, and the, bathtub. the, the grouting, the cement, uh, cement on order, it's all going to be delivered. So that was, I think, a 50 euro delivery fee. Right. Um, and the bathtub. Um, was uh, I think 185 euros for a new bathtub right. and stuff. So that was like, wow, that I was mean, cool. People in America be like, holy crap. Uh, I know. They're so doing that, a bath we were pleased. room for under 800 euros. Well, no, not under 800 because you have to factor in the vanity cost, well, the toilet true, but, cost. Okay, you know what I mean. And the toilet's from a separate location uh, that we've got a Fine, fermentation. Let's put it this way. We're doing a bathroom for under, let's just say 1300. No, nope, you can't say that either because I already I did. Am... No, the plumbing supplies were 424 euros okay. the other day when I well, you know what? I don't like this game. <laughs> no, well, you have to, before you spit it out, that's well, why I usually... Under was, two grand. Well, I was going to invoice later and give it all after we're sitting in front of us with everything, but yeah. It's guess a price. So with all the plumbing, <laughs> the sewer and the cement bags to redo, um, so that was 424 the other day just for all the plumbing supplies and the little bolts and doodles and boppers and all that little fun stuff that you don't see that gets hidden behind walls. But to make a long story short, it was... Uh, shockingly not the price you'd expect in the u.s so you don't get the sticker shock you're like wee that's cool and um our special band of tiles they were 35 euros a square meter no they were 35 30, 45 okay so take that back the see the, i'm not the only one that messes up on price the people. <laughs> subway tiles were 12 euros a square meter and we needed 16 um, square meters of that and then i believe it was 13 euros for per square meter for the floor tiles and stuff so the prices you know, you can, you know, splurge and, and save and do where you want to. Or, of course, you could go totally budget and do basics and really save. Or you can go totally high end and go overboard. So it's what you choose, your design tastes. Uh, we are able to keep the boiler because actually the previous owners just installed a new boiler. So that will uh, be a savings in the bathroom. And um, anyway, I'm having fun. So, like I said, we're looking forward to getting all the furniture back in place because they've officially finished the inside. Actually, we had to run and get paint for the exterior again. They needed another 14 liters um, to do, you know, the second coat and all the finish because, as you know, they've been working inside and not outside because we were progressing um to get into the interior done first. So they are back, um, some of the crews outside working on the exterior. So it is like a beehive around there. Uh, we've come to get our cappuccino because we need an and energy just like boost. any other <laughs> beehive, Michael is staying the hell away yeah. so he doesn't get stung. We will go back after <laughs> lunch, but we have been sent out on errands and we were running around like all morning and it was a cappuccino reboost. And just a time to take a breath, and we thought we And in we'd Scalia, you can get cappuccinos after a lot of Yes, a lot of people, I know we've had people comment, and a lot of things you see on YouTube, and other areas perhaps, but we have had no problem with cappuccinos offered to us because uh, all of the places we go to know that we like them. So any time of day, afternoon, evening, everybody is happy to give us a cappuccino. So if um, you're a cappuccino person? In Scalia, Scalia. have it day, <laughs> night, and there's some rumor, oh, you can't have it after a certain time. We've not encountered that here at all. It's delicious. It's our favorite. And they happily bring it to us spontaneously when we sit down. And that's pretty much everywhere we go to because they know what we like. And that's just another um, thing, too. You really get... Um, 
a wonderful feeling when everybody starts to know that you're a regular right. and you're here and you know you sit down and they just you know know what you like right. for example this morning we went to um one of the uh, little um pastorias a little cafe we go to mm-hmm. a little cafe and before we could even go in she was already pulling mm-hmm. out the crema amarena cornetis mm-hmm. and already starting our cappuccinos because she knows that's what we're there for. that's the closest to our house <laughs> it's uh it's just convenient whether we have all the workers here um it'll I have okay. no idea. Well, we'll, we'll <laughs> film from there one morning. I'm going to slaughter the name, and I'm so sorry, folks. I promise I'll learn my Italian. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm ashamed that I keep slaughtering, but I have to concentrate on that. But I'm in design mode right now, so my head is 100% in the design and general contractor mode, and that's filling these brain cells with <laughs> enough. It's overloading my circuits. Um, we did want to take time to film today. It's a talky-talky video. We uh, understand that, but but if you guys don't like looking at us. Right. <laughs> Look at that beautiful there. sea. It's a beautiful overcast day, but it's relaxing. And we're off to lunch soon, and then we're off to more errands. And like I said, getting a, a chandelier for the bedroom and stuff. So the shopping's kind of like what we're going to be doing today. Hey, everybody. Here's an update. We were just filming our intro. Just stopped by. We actually had to run to the hardware store and pick up a toilet. I'll explain that. And I actually chose a classic toilet. Let me go inside and show you. Um, Fratelli Melli store had a ton of toilets that were all modern and sleek. Um, for what we're going for, I wanted a traditional classic shape. So I went to a local hardware store and picked one up because they actually had to do the measurements for the um, sewage pipe today. Uh, so that was readily available. And that was a conscious decision to get a classic traditional toilet shape because I did not want a sleek and modern uh, toilet, which Italians are famous for their sleek designs, but for the look we're going for with an antique style vanity and a classic look, this is better suited to what we're after. So that was purchased today. Um, earlier when we were from Telly Melly, obviously they have tons of toilets and we didn't shop for one, but we ordered our bathtub and the tiles. So it is just really moving along here. Let me go ahead and show you the bathroom, um, he ran to pick up some supplies right now. So let me show you the state currently in. Oh boy, <laughs> yes, I have a mask on. So as mentioned, they had to measure because they're putting the sewer pipe. The bathtub will go here under the window. Um, this is the location of the toilet with the hose for the bidet and the vanity will go here. I just informed him to raise the light above the vanity because that's not nearly as high as I need gonna need it way up there <laughs> and we'll get a new light fixture in here and a coordinating one for the vanity and the boiler will go here where it was previously so we really look forward to this room being done and then I just spoke with them we will be tackling the small one next because at the time after this one's completed we should just redo this one too because the plumbing obviously is probably rusted behind here so it's the time to do it so and uh, just here's the condition of everything. I have to get a fixture for here um, to replace the fan that's no longer working. <sighs> that's our catch-all. And uh, oh boy, like I said, we've had a busy, busy day. So it's been fun. New bathtub fixture. So, uh, oh, I can't wait to get it all back together. <laughs> so, chilly day. Painting is going to be done today. He's working on the other side for the second coat. It doesn't look like rain, so hopefully that's good. Here's a big old pile of cement mixture stuff to put on the bathroom floor. Ah, the ever-growing debris pile. Oh boy. <laughs> Painting in progress. A work in progress. And yes, some of you may object to all of the AC heater fans. Trust me, as chilly as it gets in the winter, I praise these as treasures and trophies for each bedroom, kitchen, and living room to have one. And in the summer for air conditioning, I shall also praise them. So to us, I look at it and bow. 
because to not have heat in there, trust me, you'd bow too. So, <laughs> anyway, thank you folks. Just wanted to catch up on everything moving along rapidly. The quicker it gets done, the quicker we get in and the quicker mom can move over. Very excited to see all the progress. As I mentioned, they're on their lunch break. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to film. Everybody. boy did we have a busy day actually the Sun popped out for a minute it just went away again that didn't last long it's so here, it's one, minute, one of those days on the next definitely well we had a great day the villas had a, just a lot of progress they're still painting and chugging along and uh, cementing the floor now uh, after they put the sewage pipe in and or I guess that's what you call it right <laughs> something that's pipe from the toilet that goes away that thingamajiggy yes <laughs> like I'm the one doing the work I have no idea what it's called I guess it'd be a sewage pipe if you know, put it in the comments, because obviously that's out of our leagues. <laughs> We're not afraid to say it. But anyway, wow, I'm pooped. Uh, recap, after lunch, we did end up going to a store called Piazza uh, Chena. Chena. <laughs> I didn't want to chop it's that It's at one. the Scalia Shopping yes. Village, which we... Um, Yes. take you guys to at uh, one of our first videos yes actually they have a great selection of uh, lighting fixtures and i found uh, we're chandelier guys so uh for the our bedroom i found this cute antique style it's a uh, lightly um, antiqued with gold and it's like a cream color and it will fit nicely with our antique style bed and nightstands and such so we were thinking of a ceiling fan because that's what previously was there but it's a vaulted ceiling with a pitch and we'd have to look for a special fan because the other one almost hit the ceiling and we said hey we have the air conditioner and open windows and stuff so we're going to forego uh, doing a ceiling fan in our bedroom I know many of you think I'll be like no and we thought a romantic chandelier would be lovely in there to add some character and regarding the bathroom, we also are doing a very petite uh, chrome-based uh, chandelier with, um, like, a, well, crystal actually glass um, adornments and uh, beads and such. So that will be very pretty and uh, glamorous. We're not gay at all. <laughs> no, well, mom and you both, that's your main <laughs> bathroom. And you, it's, you deserve a nice, glamorous, romantic feel in there. And like we said, we're going for a, an, a kind of an antique vintage uh, look. And I think that'll be nice. And we got a sconce. Uh, that goes above the vanity, which will match as well. So it's going to be really pretty. And um, we'll show you some photos. If you're against chandeliers, sorry. But uh, that's what we thought. But would we look ain't. Bad. No, we thought that would look best. You're funny with your slang. But um, I'm so tired. I really am. So we had a runaround day. A lot of shopping. It was fun. Uh, Lots of coffee. A recap. Recap. We had to get more paint. Then we had to go to Fratelli Milli and pick out our tiles. The bathtub order. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And then, of course, the lighting fixtures. And wow, that was a great day. So a lot of progress going on. We're glad we can share the updates with you all. And enjoy a beautiful day yourselves. Thank you all for watching. Wow. Bocce Please bocce. subscribe. Dare to dream. Hey everyone, so we have the exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. There will be the info for you to find us, Patreon. We actually, in advance, want to thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Baci, baci. Baci.